Kia ora team. So we have our question here that states if a person walks 10 kilometers east and then 6 kilometers north, what is their final displacement? Okay, so what we do is identify the important information. So we have a person walking 10 kilometers east and then 6 kilometers north and we're interested in their displacement. Okay, so a question like this, what's quite handy is to map out what's occurring. So a person is walking six kilometers, uh, ten kilometers east, and six kilometers north. Okay, so what we can see is that we have a right angle triangle and what our question is asking is to find our displacement so when we see a triangle like this we know we need to use the formula c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared Okay, so c squared is going to be equal to 10 squared plus meters at 67 degrees. 6 squared, which is going to give us 136. Remember, we just want C on its own, so to get rid of that squared, we are going to square root the C, so we land up with C on its own. Whatever we do to one side, we need to do to the other, and so we're going to land up with 11.7 kilometers. So that's one part, okay, because that's given us our magnitude, okay, but when we talk about displacement, we also need direction. So how can we work out direction? Well, if this is our angle, we know we can utilize our formula to identify that angle. So, a little handy hint is to use our soccer toa. Okay. And what we also need to do is identify which side is what. So, opposite our angle is our opposite we have our adjacent, and we have our hypotenuse. Okay. We're going to work with the numbers that we were given in the original uh, question. So we have O and A. And so here we can see that O and A is going to lead us towards using the so as a formula, we can write that out as 10, the angle is opposite, divided by our adjacent. So in this case, we have 6 divided by 10. Which is going to she has meetings with all of us to do our research plan to which I replied no I'm out Kia ora team so
So we'll end up with 6 divided by 10. So this gives us 0.6. But remember we want to just have the angle on its own. So to have the angle on its own on that side of the equation we need to remove the tan and so on this side of the equation we are going to do the arctan or in your calculators your tan to the negative 1 0 0.6 okay how to do the tan to the negative 1 on your calculator you might need to press shift or second function and then tan okay so if you press shift or second function and then tan it should bring up your arc tan here so that our final answer is 30 Point nine six degrees and we are traveling in a north east direction so we'll end up with 6 divided by 10 so this gives us 0 0.6 Remember we want to just have the angle on its own. So to have the angle on its own on that side of the equation we need to remove the tan. And so on this side of the equation we are going to do the arc tan. Or in your calculators your tan to the negative 1. 0.6. Okay, how to do the tan to the negative 1 on your calculator you might need to press shift or second function and then tan okay so if you press shift or second function and then tan it should bring up your arc tan here so that our Final answer is 30.96 degrees and we are traveling in a north-east direction.